welcome to Yarn Lane. Oh, how excited am I for Yarn Lane today? Because it's Latchuk. We have had a lot of requests on the fan page. If you are a fan of Yarn Lane, please do join us. It is all about collaboration where we have all of you wonderful, wonderful viewers, whether you've been watching us since the very beginning six months ago or you've only just joined. We have a lovely fan page with lots and lots of you who join and you ask questions and you give comments and you share your pictures. You have to just search on Facebook, Yarn Lane TV fans, and then ask to join, and then I will say yes, obviously. We are the only TV channel dedicated to all things yarn. Now, mostly we do knitting and crochet, but I have said all the way along we are going to do other yarn crafts. So, so far we've done macrame, weaving, tatting, needle felting, and today we're doing latch hooking because it uses yarn. It's lovely, it's fluffy, it's lovely. Now, if you have never latch hooked before, don't worry. I know that there will be a lot of you beginners and what I've tried to do with all of these new yarn crafts is bring you something for complete beginners. I don't want you to have to go out and find the tool because you haven't got it or you haven't got the canvas or you haven't got the yarn. I've um, sourced and found kits that have everything that you need in it, bar a pair of scissors perhaps, I think that might be all that you need. Um, as long as you can find a pair of scissors, that's about all you need. But now everything you need, the hook, the um, canvas and everything is in here. Um, so I, it, was, it was quite tricky. There were lots and lots of different designs to choose from. So I tried to choose designs from across the board that would appeal to most people. Once I decided on, I wanted it to be quality materials, but I also wanted it to be something that was simple and beginner as well. And the reason that I chose these kits is because the canvas is hand painted. It's not just printed. It's easier for a beginner, particularly when doing latch hook, to follow a printed canvas, because then you're not having to follow a chart, which you have to keep looking backwards and forwards. And that, that can be harder until you're more experienced. It's also easier as a beginner to follow a hand painted canvas because each um, place where you need to put the yarn is painted on. If it's a printed canvas, then it is printed and then sometimes you get two colours that go across one square and it's not as easy to follow. Anyway, once I open up the kit, you'll see what I mean. So all you have to do is choose which one you want. There's the tricky thing. It's going to be tricky because I quite like them all. Well, I do since I chose them. So let's, choose, let's start with the draft because that's the one I'm holding. And because we put him on pre-order, he has been the most popular. Isn't he just gorgeous? Look at him with his little face eating leaves. He's lovely. All of these cushions are uh, 16 inches, I think. Mm -hmm. Just checking with Jules, who's going to read them. 16, 16, 16, yeah. 16 inches square. In the kit, I'll, I'll, we'll open up the kit in a bit and show you. In the kit, you get everything you need to make this except for the back of the cushion, but we'll talk about that in a minute, so don't worry about that. So there's the giraffe. He's on screen at the moment. And remember, everything you need is in this kit. I think they're fantastic value for money. In fact, you get everything. Right, number two. Number two. Let's do the um, flowers. Seems I've got him on my desk. Let's go the right way up. Ooh, that way. Have I got the right way? And they're all the same price. Doesn't matter which one you choose, they're all $34.99 for everything you need. They're so fluffy and woolly. You'll see when Jules shows you, that was another part of it, is I needed to have a guest who could do latch hook, who could really show you how to do it. And hey, yay, Jules could do latch hooking. <laughs> what a bonus. <laughs> as well as being able to sew pumpkin bags. Um, so this is the poppies and daisies. Really pretty. Next, they're on the other desk, so we're good. They're all with Jules, so, so we'll just show you the pictures of those instead. <laughs> oh no, Jules, you can hold them up. So which one are we doing next? The Westie, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, that's that that's one. There. Yeah. So that's him. Look at want him. To actually, see the. the yeah, just hold him. Lovely. Go. Look at his little face. Very realistic. What I like as well, the further you get away from it, the more three D it becomes yes. as well, doesn't it? You see it? his nose and everything, don't you? They have, there is a little glint. I think he's got a little bit of white in his yeah. eyes to give them. He's got this nice little neckerchief on. I know, he's gorgeous, he's isn't he? We have less than 10 of the Westies. So if you need, if you want one, you see the good thing is if you put it in your basket and check out now, then you can just sit back and enjoy the demo. Next, we've got kittens. Let's do kittens, just to Not show we don't just do dogs. So if you're interested in kittens, because we've tried to cover them, we've covered flowers, giraffe lovers, cat lovers, dog lovers. Robin lovers. 
There's the two little ginger and grey kitten. He looks a bit mischievous, doesn't he? This I think one? he's the naughty one. The <laughs> other one looks a little bit smug, like he's been good. The other one's a bit naughty. <laughs> Bird. Should we do the owl next? That there? That's that one. Yeah, making you try and work out which one's which. So the owl has got a really nice blue sort of night background. And I think it looks like he's got red berries. I think flowers, it's a winter it? owl, isn't it? But it's very good. What I love is that when you get very close up, you can see all the shades, but further away, so if it's sitting on your sofa or something, it looks very 3D, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. You only need one of those. That's such a talking piece, isn't it? Yeah. But also, fantastic gift. Fantastic gift for a beginner. Um, they, they recommend this from age seven up. But, you know, to be honest, I think you, if, as long as you sat with someone, you could show them how to do it. Robins. Ooh, right over there. I mean, the robin could be just your Christmas cushion. Not that robins only live at Christmas time. They do live all year round. But if you wanted a little Christmas cushion, love that one. Really clever. Um, and then next, hummingbird. I think that's the one that I've got. Yes, this is the one that Jules it. is going to demo for us. It's hu it's hummingbird on, is it honeysuckle? Uh, I'm not sure what it's called. Oh, it, they look like hibiscus-y things. Oh, they? hibiscus, yeah, oh, that's Maybe. true. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. very good at flowers. Yeah. Yes, it does look <laughs> it's like a yellow hibiscus. flower. <laughs> it's so pretty. I really like it. It'd be really interesting to see which one's the most popular because I could have. I didn't know really where to stop, to be mm. honest. I got to eight and thought, that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. No I just can't have too many of each, but it was hard to decide. And then I think the final one that we haven't done is the sunflower. Choose that one. And there's the sunflower. Oh, like that one. That's jolly, isn't it? Mm, warning on sunflower. Oh. Less than five available on the sunflower. So if you want to, um, if you want to buy on Yarn Lane, if you haven't, if you haven't bought with us before, or you've come from Sewing Street and not been on, you need to go onto the www.yarnlane.com website. Works in the same way as the Sewing Street website. Click on Watch Live and then scroll down. If you look below the screen, you will see that there's the draft bestseller so far and then if you scroll down you can see all of them really really simple click on add to basket and then check out and then it's yours if you would rather not shop online and you would prefer to speak to a real human being and um, have a chat with them 0800 4700 600 now if you have an account with sewing street it's the same account as yarn lane if you've already shopped on sewing street this morning your postage is covered because we have the same postage across sewing street and yarn lanes only 395 for the day you can check out as many times as you like right then remember i said i'll tell you about this earlier on all of the cushions they all have a very official looking back this is their label you won't get the label but they all have a zip already inserted now um i know a lot of you on yarn lane are sewers but i know a lot of you aren't as well and i know a lot of you really can't don't want to either or so let's make this easy in the packet here is the ready-made cushion back i love these because there are so many people who don't want to do this and often i know a lot of people who make up all these cushion fronts and then never get around to making up the cushion back well this is 18 inches square it's a 100 percent cotton fabric but it has a slight texture to it. it's very strong anyway 18 inches square the zip is already sewn in look at that so all it is already in so all you have to do is sew it to the back now it is the absolute perfect size for these 16 inch cushions but it is an 18 inch square so will fit slightly bigger things as well but isn't that lovely beautifully sewn in zip into the cushion back so if there was anything stopping you making a cushion and i didn't want particularly because this is yarn lane and i can't assume that you're all from sewing street or that you also i wanted you to be able to make them easily so there is the cushion back only 9.99 ready made easy to do and it is 100 percent cotton and i chose they come in different colors but i chose this as quite a neutral tone so it will fit with most things i mean that's what it looks like when it's on the cushion itself yeah it just blends in but it's nice and neat makes it easy doesn't it most popular cushion at the moment are giraffe and robin mm. well who knew well i do i didn't know i couldn't tell the thing i like about those cushion yeah. bags is it's a similar weight to the canvas that you've got on the front 
So yes. it's a balanced cushion when you've got it, because sometimes if you put a lighter weight fabric on the back, it kind of goes all... Yeah, because it's, it's not floppy. your quilting cotton weight, it's more canvas yeah, weight, isn't definitely. it? Yeah, definitely, yeah. So, shall we have a look at what's inside a kit? Mm. I'm going to open mine and you can open yours. Let's have a look what's in the kit. So, um, for some reason, I think they've changed the packaging lately, just so you think these are exactly the same thing. Some of them come in the plastic bag. Some of them come in the cardboard box. I think they've just gone more eco-friendly, but they are exactly the same. I'm going to open the plastic because it hasn't got any sellotape. It's easy to put back together. So when you take it all out, I'm going to show you what's... It's nice, isn't it? You could reuse this. So let me take out mine and then Jules is going to explain what happens. But I'm just going to show you if I can get it all out. It's a good fat quarter size, this little storage Yes, bag. it is a very fat... I've got my eye on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fat quarter sized. So, whoa, I've dropped my tool. <laughs> so in here is all the yarn, which I'm going to move over to one side. Yeah, it's fine. Let me just move that. Now, this I want to show you the canvas because this is the best bit about it. So it's a bit like if you've ever done needlepoint or tapestry, it's just like that. It's like a needlepoint or tapestry canvas, um, 10 holes to the inch. And it's all coloured, but it is hand painted. And that's really important because, as I said, when you look at the individual squares, um, Jules will be explaining how to do it, you can see exactly where to put each colour. Now at the bottom, you've got a, one of each of the colours, so you can see what colours you've got. Um, and then the yarn is pre-cut into exactly the length you need. So you just take out the piece you need. So you've got all of the colours. Some of them have got... You don't need to be an expert at all. By the time you've got your kit and you've watched Jules's demo and it comes instructions, you will be laughing. So you've got all of the colours you need. I mean, even to the fact that, you know, there's some little pieces. So that is the... Look, there's one that's come out. That is the length of the yarn you get. Now, you imagine having to cut them all to that length from a ball of wool. That'd put you off. You wouldn't do it. Even, even comes with the label. I stitch for Vaco, which is the make of the kit. So I just think, you know, I didn't want to bring you a brand new craft without bringing you something quality. I think these are really good quality kits. But this is the thing that you don't often get in the kit, is you've got the tool. Now, you need this special latch hook tool to be able to do it. It comes with a little loop at the top. Let me just move that so you can see it. It comes with a little loop at the top. So that's the hook. And it comes with a little latch. And every single kit, so there's the latch, there's the hook. That's why it's called latch hook. And wooden handle, and you get one of these with every kit. And it also comes with instructions. So instructions of how to do the hooking in different languages, should you need them. Um, everything you need is in there. And obviously, Jules is going to be showing you, so you can re-watch the video to see, um, watch it on YouTube after today, so you can see how to do it again. But these are fantastic quality. And, you know, I was just about to say, I think you'll be hooked, but I didn't really mean that, because that sounds rubbish, doesn't it? <laughs> but if it was another technique, I would say I think you'll be hooked anyway. But I think you will really um, enjoy this. I think it will be great. So, Jules. Okay, so I unpacked as you were unpacking. Right. And what did what happens? So, and what happens what is happened? I got exactly the same thing. Except I don't know where my label's gone, but it, it, oh, it was probably in, in your bag probably. somewhere. <laughs> so, um, the first thing that you'll notice is that you've got lots of different. You've like got double ups of all your little balls of. Well, they're not balls, but you know what I mean. Lengths, the strands of wool. Yes. Um, of yarn on there. So, um, just it it means that you can kind of judge roughly what's going to be your biggest hooking out of yes. this lot. So you can see that this one has got uh, a cream one. Um, you'll get your canvas, as you were saying, and around the edge of your canvas you've got... I'm going to knock all you of that You can move out. him if you like. Yes, bless him. <laughs> um, you've got, at the bottom of your canvas, you have got um, your colour swatch. Yes. And what I would do first of all um, you can press your canvas, just be a little bit careful because obviously you've got paint on there so don't, you don't want high heat on there. But 
it will work either way you just kind of ease it out you just want it fairly flat you don't want the bumps in it if you can right. help it just because that'll help you judge where you're looking for does your, it flatten um, out with time do you think yeah it will do and put as soon as you put rug. it on the cushion it's all fine yeah. so, but it's just it's been in the bag for a little while so yours is more folded than mine if you see because i've had yes, mine out yeah i see what you mean yeah mine's got so more exact it'll folds relax in it. down um so you've got your little color swatches along the side and i would um just put a little piece of yarn along the colour swatches just in case you're doing this and it's maybe a low light because this is the sort of thing that you'll sit and you'll do on your lap you don't have to be at a table to do it I like so that. it's quite nice to mm. to you know snuggle up and and do this so, so you, you do might, in the car yeah yeah but the if lighting not might not be <laughs> <laughs> On the train. Sorry, officer. Oh, sorry, officer, but I was latch looking yeah. at some flower. <laughs> <laughs> but what, what that enables you to do is if you have done a little bit of colour swatching along the side here, mm. it means that if you are in a poorer light, you can just do a bit of comparison because you've got three different greens here. Your grey might look like a green. Yes, that's so what you mean. So it's easier to do it in a decent light and then match later. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So that's, that's your... Um, <laughs> your little canvas there um, you have got instructions and they are multilingual so nice. that's always useful and then you've got your latch hook so as you were saying before um, let's have it against the, the desk there you've got this is the the integral part of the tool so you've got this piece that flicks up and down according to whether you're going in or out of the canvas and what will happen is as you're going into the canvas it's open and you'll slip your wool into there um, yarn into there and then as you come back through it will flip and close and secure the yarn in the hoop uh, um, hoop hook <laughs> <laughs> hoop the and hook. then you pull it through and then you can complete your stitch so all will become apparent in a second it's also got a little wiggle in it this is helpful because of how you actually attach your wool onto the um, hook before you put it through the canvas and the other thing that I really like it's got a wooden handle which is really nice to hold mm, it's I've nice quality some, isn't yeah. it it's not a cheapy cheapy one I've seen some that are plasticky and they're horrible um, mm. the, the less quality kits will have a plastic one and the hook this little flicking piece here um, the latch on the cheaper ones it just breaks oh, okay so this is a good quality one so yeah it's nice to get this well i just think i mean you don't obviously if you're a beginner to this you don't want to start on like real top top notch no. everything but you've got to start with half decent quality because yeah. if you've bought the kit and then the hook breaks or the put you off breaks, it? It put you yeah. off yeah so it's good to have a good decent one and all your um yarn is cut to cut to the same length I don't know, um, do they do that? So perfect length, I don't they know. must do it by machine. I mean, they yeah, must cut it's, it's it and wrap it all thing. in one go. Yeah, it's a machine cut thing. Um, I so wonder if it's in a long tube and then they cut through the plastic and the yarn at I the would, same time. I would say so. I think, yeah. Like I a hank so, or something. Because it is really, Cause it's going to have precise. a sharp guillotine, isn't it, on there? It's really... We need to go to the um, Vivaco Electric factory for the day. Is it abroad? I bet. Yes, I think if it's it is. somewhere like Italy, then um, I'm your man. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'm not absolutely. I think it might be somewhere like Germany, not Italy. Oh, well, but we'll oh no, Belgium. Oh, no, Belgium. That's fine. Belgium's it's not fine. Far. Yeah, yeah. We can yeah, have we a day trip that. to Belgium. All right. If you insist. Hey, that's all. <laughs> See ya. Jules and I have to Belgium. <laughs> These little packages, um, I think they're just spare to the on, so that if you um, do happen to use more. Than yeah, maybe, well, maybe I wondered whether nice they have contained. like a specific amount, and you know that, and that has to add up to the specific amount. Uh, I don't know, or spares. Yeah, I don't or, know. Or you could use it down your colour swatch if you wanted to. Maybe they have like ten percent extra or something, and mm. that's your that's your bonus. Mm. That's your bonus. All right, so shall we start? Shall yes. We where do where start? where do you start then? Now, well, you've done the swatches, which done the is swatches. important to match up. Done the canvas. You don't have to pre-prepare your canvas. That is it. It's all ready to go. Um, when you start, you will start bottom left-hand corner. It's quite important not to flick around with your um, yarn and do think. Oh, I'll do the hummingbirds because I like the blue first, and I, I'll do that bit mm. first. It's not the same sort of thing as cross stitch. You need to have it going in order. 
simply because on the reverse, if I show you, I've got a couple that are done here, you can then see where you've missed. So you don't want holes in your work. Right. And also it follows on, so the, um, the lay of it, the nap of this fabric that you're creating will be downwards. So when you've done a stitch, it will lay flattened downwards. Oh, uh, so you can't go here, there and everywhere you, no. because otherwise you'll be catching and it's so not like needlepoint or cross stitch where you could just do whatever. No, it splits the yarn as well. So but then I guess something. because not like with, you know, you're not working with one length and a needle. You've got to no. have 10 different needles on the go. So it just doesn't matter so much. It doesn't though, matter. Does it? You've, you've just got to have your wool to hand. Okay. And um, it doesn't matter as well. You know how when you're knitting, if you have to get up and answer the door halfway through a row, that will spoil your tension. doesn't matter with this. No. You can split your rows as much as you like. In fact, we had one um, over Christmas, myself and my girls, and uh, we were all having a go at it. Oh, okay. Somebody would pick it up and do a couple and then go off right. and do something else. Somebody a bit like a family jigsaw. Yeah. Family exactly. latch hook. And it, all the tensions were the same because it's um, all done the same yeah, way. I guess so. So you can do that. And you can't lose your place. No. No, you just, if you start bottom left, you kind of work from got left holes. to right. Big holes. Good for mm, good for you. not having to wear your glasses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's <laughs> have a go then. So what you'll do is look on your um, canvas and see what the next colour along. So my next colour happens to be this sort of teal blue. So pull out a strand. And so I guess out. a lot of them you start with the background. Mine starts with the background. Yes, this starts with the okay. The kind of. Um, Oh, and, and there is the like trees, a little think, L shape in the corner as well that shows you where you, where start. you start. That's yeah. handy. Yeah. Okay. So then what you'll do is you'll fold the length that you've pulled out in half. So you make like a little loop. Then you'll have your hook and you go through the loop. Don't do anything else with it at the minute. So you're holding the loop on your um, kind of the, the shaft part, I suppose you call it of the latch hook and the latch is open. Next thing you're choosing where you're going. So my color chart tells me this one belongs on the next space along. You then put your hook underneath. So I'll do it without this so you can, I'll hold it up and then I'll do it properly. So you'll put your hook underneath and through and along and then beyond the latch. Just okay. under one canvas rung. Yes. So you can, you can see that. Yeah, I can see. All right, so I'll just reassemble. Oh, I think you need to move over just to... Sorry, I'm going to do graphics. Lovely, we're right. crashing. Sorry. Crashing with the graphics. Crashing. So the latch is open. The hoop of my yarn is still on the shaft of my hook. I then... Twist the top, so I've still got the two ends in my fingers here. Twist the top and put it into the hook. Can you see? So yeah. it's into that hook. As I come backwards, the latch then just folds across. Shuts. So the door is closed. You pull it back down and let go. And there's my stitch. That is magic. Okay. I just do it gently. We'll times. do it a few times. Well, it's nice and we're nice and close now. Yeah. So as long as we so know, as long as I'm in the right place. So my next one graphic, along, we <laughs> should crash the draft. <laughs> next one along is teal. Oh, Marion has asked. Oh, if you're left-handed, would you start at the bottom right? You could, I suppose. Yes. I don't because suppose I it matters which side you start. No, as long as you do a bottom corner. Yes. Yes, you could. I think you could. But if you were left-handed, it's whatever feels comfortable, I think. If you're comfortable moving left to right, being left-handed, left carry on this way. But if you think, well, actually, no, I prefer to go yeah, right to I left, it's fine. Me, I think one way will feel right to you, yes. won't they? Yeah. Definitely. I guess if you're right-handed, you're moving away from what you're doing right. But if you're left-handed, you'd be moving away from what you're doing if you start on the other side. Yeah. If you're left-handed, 
try Give it, it a go oh, and let us know yes if you are left-handed and you've done latch hooking please could you let us know georgie has had a go at um I have latch took for years and it's so easy and so satisfying. Anyone who is on the fence, go for it. You'll love it, I promise. Oh, thanks, Definitely. Georgie. Definitely, it is brilliant. Georgie. It's a yeah. little bit yeah. addictive, though, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's a bit like, I'll just finish that. I've just got to get to the end of that row. Or <laughs> no, I wonder what it'll look it. like when I put that. <laughs> so we'll go over it again. Yeah, I think we need to do it several times. So first step is to have your latch open. You've taken your yarn, folded it over, got a little loop, slide the loop down the shaft of the latch hook. So that's your starting position. Next thing you're choosing the next square along. You angle, so you kind of angle your um, hook to go through rather than put it through like that. I just find it easier because it's flatter. So angle your hook and then lift it up push it all the way through that hole. I've still got my latch open and I've got my thread, uh, my yarn on the, the bottom. I'm then gonna pull the latch hook slightly towards me so I can get the ends of the yarn tucked, 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 tucked. into the hook. And as I carry on pulling it, the latch oh, closes, shuts. door shuts, and then just gently pull it through. Oh. Stitch is complete. Lovely. Do it again. Do it again. I think I, I if think I was so. watching something. Well, I'll do it again because I like doing it. I know, but <laughs> I would want to. I, if I watch something and you think how many times you rewind, it's usually yeah. about five or six, isn't it? So yarn, fold in two. Make sure the latch is open. Actually, when you get a run at it, mm. the latch will automatically be open if you see what I mean. You'll be ready for the next yeah, piece. Yes. So, hook. I bet you get, but I'm having rows until you're like, whoo, super fast. Oh, by the end of this row. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. It. Yeah, yeah, seriously. So, yarns around my hook, in through the next hole, push it forwards, latches open, tails go around the, into the loop, Pull it backwards so the latch is now closed and gently pull it to finish the stitch. So Susan has asked, could you attach the canvas to a tapestry frame? Yes, you could if you wanted to. But you don't have to. You don't have to. No, it's not at all. You. you don't need the tension on it. But if it means that you've got hands free and you're happier with it. Yeah. On your lap, as long as you've got something underneath it to rest. Um, the canvas on it's fine so you don't need it for the tension but if you find it easier then you just could. to okay. handle it yeah yeah but no you don't need it at all for the tension because and the canvas is quite stiff and anyway. John Scott said it's exactly like wig making <laughs> is it, it is probably when he made wigs for the opera is it oh yeah probably yeah probably yeah well they did them on like this canvas well I suppose they had some netting some right netting maybe not and it would be canvas. finer but yeah. you would use a similar sort of tool I would maybe. imagine yeah well <laughs> we'll, we'll leave get one you for in. him to, you to wear the... tomorrow yes <laughs> so John tomorrow if you could make your own wig <laughs> with a latch hook and then you can show it tomorrow Please bring it. everyone will be looking forward to seeing you <laughs> all righty so fold over the yarn make a hoop Pop your hook, sorry, pop your hook through your yarn, then through the next hole in your canvas, slide it forwards, latch is open, tuck the ends in, latch is closed, gently pull it through, stitch is finished. And you have to give it that little tug at the end. Just, just gentle, to, okay. yeah, just gentle. You don't have to <laughs> yank it, it's just a gentle, because you're getting over that um, canvas, it's a double piece of thread yeah there so it's, it's a little bit of a hump but that's all right so again it's actually really nice to watch isn't it? fold it in two pop it over your latch hook make sure your latch is open through the next one next hole in your canvas push it forwards tuck the ends so the latch is still open tuck the ends into the hook latch is closed gently pull it through and then on the back, you start Ooh. to see where you've been. Yes. 
and what will happen is the more you do the front looks like it's all well it's all furry but the back is really neat so you see the picture on the back really well oh, okay yeah Can have a little look have a little look so i'm going to do one more of this color and then i'm going to change oh, yeah. color. can you see yeah it's all nice and neat on the inside should we take the pad out and we'll have a look have a look so mm, maybe help us if I undo <laughs> that was me not undoing the zip properly so fold the yarn again we're going to pop it on our hook into the space forward around with the yarn back through and that and will stay it. on there so look, yeah. let's just... It's a knot, isn't I'm it? I'm just going to show you what the, the inside looks like since I've, since I've taken out the inside of mine. So look, it is actually, it's quite pretty, isn't it? I don't want to undo the whole thing. But look, it's quite pretty, isn't it? So you can see what it looks like on the back. So you can see exactly where you've been. Mm. What you're actually so doing is... So what if you go wrong? Undo it. It's fine. Oh. Take it out. Oh, and you, how? You're actually making... Just take it off. <laughs> take it off. You're making a lark's head knot. Oh, so is that what it is? That's what it is. Yeah. Okay. So um, all you do, so say that was the wrong colour, it's not because I know, but say it was the wrong colour, you just flick it up with your fingernail, get the loop that you've made and wiggle it. Oh, okay. And it's out. So, so if, you, if you do go wrong, which, you know. It's easily rectified. Can happen. And then you just make sure you follow each colour. Yes. So my next colour is this limey sort of green back in. so yeah it's like yeah latch trick by numbers isn't it yeah like painting by numbers only different so as long as you do the same thing so fold it over first pop it on your hook open the latch pop everything through tuck the tails into the end of the hook the latch closes you pull everything through. And that is as complicated as it's going to get. So, this. yeah, so it actually doesn't matter whether you've got few colours or male colours. It doesn't, you know, doesn't make any difference, does it? No. no. One, once you've matched them to start with. And the only thing that I would say is some of them, um, so you've got shaded colours. So, for example, um, where I've got... Oh, like the Westie, then? Yeah, or where I've got the... Um, on here, I've got orange going to yellow, and there's a kind of a burnt orange and a bright orange. So you just need to make sure that you've got your... If you put it at the beginning, before your eyes get used to the colours, if you put it onto your samples, then you'll know which one belongs with which... Yeah, so yeah, as colours. long as you probably want to do your, I mean, I think we'll say like with this sunflower one, that's probably a bit, well, you've got three greens, I guess, and if you're in bad light, that wouldn't be as yeah. easy to see. But as long as you, I mean, I can see the three ones, as long as you do this in good light, that bit. Yeah. But that's the same if you did a tapestry or a needlepoint, is sorting that out to start yeah. with, isn't it? Then yeah. after that, you've just got to follow which colour's which, and if you do go wrong, you can do it. Yeah, you can really easily undo it. That's not a problem at all. And they, st they start to kind of lie nicely on top of each other. You, you get lots of kind of like strokeability. <laughs> <Right. laughs> and then when you do another row, they just... Does it so get if I, so I, I'm going to uh, do something now that you're not supposed <gasps> to do. I haven't finished my row, but I'm going on top here. Yes, so please don't do this at home. No. <laughs> not without the aid of a safety net. Yes, <laughs> without a safety net or an adult, or responsible <laughs> adult. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all right if you kind of worked up your rows, but it's when you go into the middle and then you have yeah. to go back and go We're only doing it. this to show you. Just demonstrate. Please do it properly and do one <laughs> row at a time as instructed. <laughs> so again, we've got the yarn, fold it in two, make the loop onto the latch hook, into the next hole. We're going up now. Uh, and then tuck the ends in as the latch comes over and pull it through. But you can see then it starts to, if I do a couple up here, it starts to kind of build up the picture more. Yeah, and actually, because the holes are quite big, it's very easy to see the different, you know, the next row. 
they're not you know in the very not close together at all no and look you see i've i've let let go of the ends there but you can just tuck it around the bottom of the shaft and it's not a problem so you get that's a couple let's do one above it as well but you you get into a routine with it it's very we Mindful. had a message from Linda in Swansea who says, I've been latch hooking for 50 years. I oh, always well start top left to right. I roll the canvas in my lap and unroll as I go. It sheds fluff as you go from Linda. There you go. Mm, there we go. Unroll it as you go. You kind of 50 build years. Up a wow. You must have done some amazing things then in all that time. Because you can do latch hooking with... Um, there we go. That's Fabric, a, can't that's you? A few. You can. Um, so you can get canvas on its own. So when you've decided that this is what you like, mm. you can get canvas on its own. You probably have it slightly bigger weave than this if you're going to use fabric. Um, because obviously if you look at how thick the yarn is here. Yeah, this is like um, tapestry wool Yeah. Um, thickness, I'd say. Yeah. So if you're going for fabric, you probably want a slightly bigger count, a more open weave on there. But it's exactly the same process. You might want a slightly sturdier hook because mm. you've got a bigger pull to come through. Exactly the same process. Okay. Um, so yeah, you can use um, other sorts of yarn. I've seen people do it with plastic bags, recycling plastic bags, and wow. then you iron them and it makes a solid piece. No. So you can do all sorts of things. How do you iron plastic bags? Carefully. <laughs> 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 you dine it from the back and it melts it, which is what you're intending to. Uh, yeah, so you can do all sorts but of things. But doesn't it melt on your ironing board? No, you, well, you would put um, a craft mat underneath right. it. Yeah, a heat proof mat on underneath it. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, and just and something on top of it because mm. you iron and everything. But yeah, you can do all sorts of bits and bobs with these sorts of things. But this so. is a great way to get started, isn't it? Yeah. So that's how it builds up. Okay. That's your layering, and that's that's what it starts to look like on the back. Then once you've once you've done all of that, do you want me to do a couple more? Yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I carry on along. It's just this really way. it's really nice to watch. I mean, and I d I do like. I think the pictures. Let me just show you if you can get close on this, Joe. Of the um, the diagrams are really good. So when you get your kit home with you, let me just straighten it up. Mm. I've got cushions in the way. <laughs> Surprising that. Okay. I've got loads of stuff in the way. Right, so there's the diagrams. I can't get it right. There we are, straight now. <laughs> I go one way and this goes the other. They are really, really clear exactly how to do the process, which is lovely, isn't it? Yeah. So that if, you know, watch the demo back, but if you want to see, that they are really clear. And it shows okay. you what it's supposed to look like at the, at the end. So you can see that that knot actually matches with what it shows you yes. in the instructions. Yeah. Okay, so... Yarn in half, around the hook, open the latch, through the space, then as the latch starts to close, pop the ends into the hook and then just gently pull it through. Job done. So in half, around the, the shaft. Put the hook through the space with the latch open, tuck the ends in, latch will close, pull it through. And when we've been talking mm. and going slowly, and we've done a couple of inches in what about 20 minutes or so? Yeah. So if you imagine you get into the routine, this would not take you. No, you're not going huge push it time. through, latch it close. You know, yeah, you're, you're actually going to, yeah, yeah. yeah. Once you've gotten the technique, um, it's just muscle memory, isn't it? Getting the, the And do you take these out as you need them? I take them out, so I, that's how I work. I take them out from the middle, and then when it starts to wiggle down, because it will, it will collapse, so I take them all out from the middle. Mm. Um, I have a little box, um, it's like a, a box with a lid and I put them in the lid and then when I finished I just close the box up okay. so I've got them all in there and so I because otherwise they they can go everywhere yeah 
I mean, I don't know how, I mean, I presume they must give you more than you need. Yes. But you still don't want to be losing yeah. them, really. You've got loads more than you need. Um, so you could do, I mean, if, if you got little off cuts of, the, um, of this, you could do kind of little bookmarks with it. Mm. So if you're going to make a cushion, you might do, you might have an off cut. Uh, and as I say, you can make a bookmark with it or, you know. Yeah, because it's nice and stiff, isn't it? Oh, but it is, it's nice to be able to sort of practice on something. Well, it's not just practice, isn't it? It's beautiful. Yeah. I think it's a real talking piece. I mean, something as glorious and fluffy as this. And, the, and it's quite clever how, although it's all little tufts, it becomes really 3D. The colours actually separate really well, yeah. don't they? They do sort of show off really nicely. The lovely giraffe. Oh, we've had some pictures. Ooh. Oh, this is my <laughs> this is from Linda. This is my Lutch hook dog, which I enjoyed making. He's gorgeous. I didn't know you could make toys with it. Well, wow! You, imagine you can manipulate the fabric to however you want it to be. Yeah, I wonder you? whether you have less stiff canvas. He is probably gorgeous. Yeah, we're gonna have to look into that, yeah. aren't we? Yeah, I'm thinking Lutch hook toys. Yeah. Mm. My little girl wants to make one. Oh, of those, and this I'm photo sure. um, is from Brenda. This oh, is a latch nice. I completed. Wow! Oh, wow. Is that a, I suppose it could be a rug or a wall cute. hanging. That's beautiful, isn't yeah. it? I mean, it's amazing, isn't it, when you think it's just woolly loops. It looks like a painting. Yeah. It's all in the shading, isn't it? That's what makes these so interesting. Quite like that as a bath mat, yeah. aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you were making it into a mat, so we've got cushion backs on there, which I'll mm. talk to you about cushion backs in a second. But if you were making this into a rug or a mat or that kind of thing, um, you would want to bind the edges. Okay. So in order to do that, so supposing you've finished everything, you've got the outline of where it all is. If you were binding this, you'd find where the, the edge would be. That would be... So you fold it over with the final... Look, well, I can see on here with the final loops. Yeah. Sticking over the top so you'd fold that down you'd probably cut this back a little bit to maybe about an inch and then you can get binding tape right or you can make your own binding tape so, so the what's binding tape made from <laughs> so it's a cotton it's a stiff canvas cotton okay but you can make your own um what i would do if you if you're making your own just get um like we did for bag handles two pieces face together and then sew it on the inside so that you, as you turn it through, you've got no raw edges. Right. Because you, you're binding it, yeah. you want it to be secure. And then what you would do is you would lay across the binding across there. So you would put, you would put that onto there, this having been cut off. So you put it right at the edge and then you hand stitch it along the top. Mm. Uh, so that it goes all the way through so that's flat down and then you hand stitch again to the edge and then that will bind your edge oh, okay so if you were making a rug or then something you would like just that. lay it flat mm. if you're making the cushion and you wanting to put that onto the back um, of the cushion so again you would fold it over um, and trim off a little bit then you get your um, backing your cushion back and place it on the top work from this side where you've got your work done where the loops are so, so where do you sew exactly then so i've got my make sure that all of the yeah. tassels are out i mean of this way. is really good there's no tassels caught in no no loops caught in this so if this was my my cushion back mm. i would have that there matching along the edges and because the cushion back is 18 and this is 16 you just need to place it in the middle and then you need to sew just on your machine, but you I'll can do it, it by hand. Just a little bit. Sorry. So you would sew just about on the yarn. So don't sew into the hole because it's not going to hold very much. Right. But you want to make sure that all of these tassels are facing yeah. in towards the back of the cushion. And you would sew just about there. So maybe about eighth of an inch into that. So you're actually sewing through the wool along this bit, but also you're sewing through the cushion back. So the cushion back is going through your feed dogs. 
Yes, yeah. And so you top. actually you actually sew through the yarn. Yes, but not all of it. So but you you're sewing. So where this is, so where this is a hoop. Yeah. Here, um, where you've got your two pieces of mm, canvas here. Yeah, the two threads. You can almost going along the first one of those. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So you're going to sew all the way through there. So you carry on along almost through the first one. What you want to be doing is you want to be ca catching some of this fabric that you just made mm. and your cushion fabric yeah. underneath. Yeah, but these cushion backs are 18 inches. So oh, you've got plenty of room You've got loads. Over. And you haven't got a zip to worry about. So oh, you haven't marvelous. got to worry about your top Love edge these. or anything like that. I know, it's brilliant, isn't it? So, yeah. But yeah, that's how you would do that. Should we take it out and have a look at the size? Ooh, now I've got the hook. Yeah, you just must make sure that you push yeah, all so the Yeah, so if I put it that way around, you can see, way. look, how much how much bigger it is, which is great, isn't it? Because then yeah. you've got more than enough. But also it means that these can be used for, well, anything up to an 18-inch yeah, cushion. Yeah, all but, sorts. Um, that's quite a good size, isn't it? But if you see as well how much extra uh, canvas you've got at yes. the top after your picture. So that there, if you take it up one, two, three rows maybe, You've got uh, one, two, three, mm. four holes. That would be a nice bookmark. Yeah, definitely. You've got the bookmark yeah. in there as well. I'd be recycling. And that is nice. Bits. That is a nice stiff. It is like a canvas, but it is 100% cotton. But also, that's useful for your tension if you're going to make a cushion back because the, the bottom and the top are similar. Y Whereas yes, if you've that's got a very true. lightweight fabric, yeah. you might have it. Um, and it's going nice in your that the um, back as well. It's all been like um, interlocked. Yeah. Whatever it is, overlocked, you know. overlocked, yeah, yeah. Interlocked. Yeah, interlocked. What's interlocked? Interlocked. Yeah, okay, I know what like you the mean. wombles, <laughs> interlocked and overlocked. Um, yeah, overlocked all the way around the edge. Only nine ninety nine as well. I think that's great because oh, by really the time you've value. done that, we are limited on stock of those. You know, by the time you bought a zip. That's well, I know, and the zip, pounds, and you put it, it in exactly, and then the fact that these, you know, these edges, and it's just, mm. just nicely done, isn't it? Nice. You can follow that. Right. This is how to. Make a zip. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> insert a zip in a cushion. Um, we've got a message from Anne Marie coming across the bottom. I started doing these a number of years ago when I injured my spine and was unable to move. It kept me sane. Now I rest it on a cushion on my lap. Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. Thanks, Anne Marie, for that. Okay. I guess I get this. Yeah, this is very mindful, as I yes. said right at the beginning, that you really well, you don't have to concentrate in that it's difficult. But you have to concentrate on what colour you're putting where and making sure yeah. the hook's going through the right piece. So, you know, you can easily, an hour can go by, can't it? Oh, definitely. And also, it's not stressful. So if you no, went, it does, no. Do you know, if you went wrong, you can undo it. Or, like, I did a couple of stitches back. I went through and I only pulled one through. So I took that out and put another one. It's, you know, yeah. it's not a difficult thing. It's not massively it's not the sort of thing you put in a carrier bag and hide under the table and come back another day is no, it because no <laughs> and get everybody involved in it i mean youngsters uh, you said seven i think probably earlier than that if they're yeah i don't know why it's, uh, it's funny that I, I just noticed that on their instructions that they said seven it depends what your child's like of course, well yes yeah. is maybe is it do you think it's seven unaided maybe for something like this it's good for kind of coordination isn't it and if you're um, not great with your hands now, but you still want to be creative, yes, also good. So yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I think. I think that's the the beauty of it is that you know I think as people you know change whether they have issues with either um, their eyesight or hands and arthritis that sort of thing, then you know sometimes you need to change the craft or change your glasses. Yeah, but doesn't mean say you can't craft. No, not at all. And, and is, I think, you know, awesome. also it's lovely. It's a lovely gift for someone because they come so beautifully presented as well for someone. And you've got everything in it. It's nice, isn't it? But yeah. that is a lovely gift for somebody who just think, oh, I just want to make this. I bought. I remember buying my um, both of my nieces one of these last year. Absolutely loved them because mm. they do a bit of knitting, but not really sewing. And yeah. I thought, well, anyone could do all the instructions are in there. Give it a go. But it's quite a nice little present. Yeah. Isn't it? And also, if you are an avid knitter or crochet or, or whatever your craft is, mm. and you like to do really intense, complicated projects, 
this just helps your brain wind down because <laughs> you haven't got to keep looking at a pattern. Well, I think as crafters, we all have different projects on the go, don't yeah. we? We have ones where we need to challenge ourselves and concentrate. I have ones for different times of the day. Yeah. Mornings are the complicated ones. Yeah. Afternoons are where I'm a bit lazy and the evenings are where I just want to sit in front of the TV. Yeah. And I have to have different projects for those times. <laughs> Well, I have things that are portable projects because I do portable a lot of waiting. <laughs> yes, a lot of waiting. <laughs> portable projects, yes. Holiday projects. Yeah. Because uh, you don't even have to have a pair of scissors. I know we were saying about a pair of scissors, but you don't actually. Yeah, no, I was thinking, what would you need for this? <laughs> no, you don't really. No. Other than the making up, for the actual doing, you, you don't need a pair no, of scissors. That, that is it, that isn't is it? That is it, exactly. Yeah. Bit of good it's light. Good. Yes, a lot of very good for waiting rooms. Yeah. <laughs> Should you be in Or one? even, as you say, in the car, um, yeah. you know, sat waiting for children. Perfect. Gymnastics in the car. <laughs> right, I'm going to just run through the kits once again. Thanks ever so much, um, Jules. I've You're really welcome. enjoyed. Welcome to Yarn Lane. Thank you. To the Yarn Lane family. Thank you very much. Knitters and latricas. <laughs> it's been really lovely to have you on air. No, it's good so fun, please give us your feedback about latric, what you think about it, what you like, what you don't like. And then um, we will do another show and we'll bring back something different. You've got a choice of eight more kits, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> We will, well, we'll move on yes. to rugs and hang wall hangings and animals. All sorts. Who knows? Oh, yes. That is, yeah. I 3D. love the animal. Yeah. So you've, all you've got to do now, we've gone through it. You know what's in the kit. You know how easy it is. You can watch the YouTube back. Don't forget it was the 17th of May. You've just got to choose which one you want. So I'm going to start with the giraffe. We only have six left. Six giraffes left. So if you want a giraffe, you need to put him in your basket and you need to check out. He's gorgeous. Oh, I don't need to hold them all up. Good. So, and then next we have, we have poppies and daisies. Poppies and daisies, we've only got nine of those left. They're lovely, aren't they? I like that one. Really pretty. And they do look like, I don't know how they manage it with the 3D-ness. They do look like poppies and daisies as well. Um, Next, we have the West Highland Terrier. Oh, look at this little face. Only, only eight of those left available. Really sweet. Yeah, we are getting very limited to single figures on all of these now. Kittens are next. The naughty one and the good one. Don't forget, everything is in there, including the hook and the zip bag or the box, depending on which packaging you get. Only 11 of those left available. Owl next. I mean, maybe you know some, you always have people who love that, different things. Maybe you know someone who loves an owl. This doesn't have to be just the kit as a gift. You can give someone the finished cushion as a gift. Lovely. If you know, if you've got a friend, only four of those. Um, there are a few in baskets, so you do need to be careful. If you do want it, you need to check out because there are five, a few in baskets as well. But if you know someone who loves an owl, they're going to love that cushion. Oh, the Robin's lovely, isn't he? So you could, he could be your Christmas cushion. You could just have him for bringing out a Christmas time or as Robins do live all year round. In fact, I saw one in the garden the other day. Very odd. I thought, thought they were dead in the rest of the year. But I did actually see one. There's the Robins. Hummingbird with um, hibiscus, isn't it? It's a hummingbird with a hibiscus. Very summery, very light. Perfect for the... Lounge, sofa, bedroom, children's room, kitchen. Yeah, I mean, it really is a statement piece because particularly when you look at it standing back and it's sitting on a sofa, it's such a statement piece. Like, wow! That blue really flashes, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it does. Really it's looking, beautiful, yeah. isn't it? Really lovely. Oh, the sunflowers are sold out, so we're not going to show that. And we, yes, we've done all the others. And the other, the other thing is the cushion back, which I have here. Remember, it's 18 inches square. I mean, you can make your own. Obviously, you don't need to have one. You can do what you like. But it's just because, well, A, because these are available. They're made specifically for these kits. And also, a lot of you who are yarners aren't sewers. So, or if you are a sewer, but you don't really want to do that, you just want to concentrate on the um, latch hooking, then this is perfect. They're a really good thing to add. You know, how many cushions have you got that you've not finished because you think, oh, I don't want to do the zip? These are absolutely perfect. They come in a neutral colour, 100% cotton in a nice sort of canvas weight. And people are buying multiple of these. So there's only a few left if you want one with a lovely, beautifully inserted zip. I quite like that. <laughs> Very nice. Pleasing. But perfect for things. I'm going to keep doing it. But they... Um, 
they are perfect for these kits. So all you've got to do is choose which is your favourite design. So they are all on the website. All you need to do is go on to www.yarnlane.com, click on watch live, scroll down, um, buy now, and there they all are. You just have to choose the one you want. There are the sunflowers is completely sold out, but with the others they are obviously all in single figures. So if you want them, you do need to click on uh, add to basket and then check out. And then once we see what's popular when we finish the show, um, then we'll have to think about bringing it back and doing something different this time. Because I'm hoping that you will join Jules and I on the Latrick journey <laughs> <laughs> and talk about you know once we've learned this, it's just a really really good start for you as a beginner. Um, but if you've got any questions, please do join the Yarn Lane fan page. It's a lovely community. It's a really nice place where people get in touch, they get involved, they share makes, because quite often us as yarners and sewers, we don't know other people who do it. And you, you know, you've made something, you want to share it. And people always comment on them as well, which is lovely. It's really, really nice. So um, join us again on Yarn Lane on Wednesday when we've got Wendy Wednesday. Wendy Orlando is going to be doing crochet for the home where she's got a whole host of kits and books to make. So um, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Jules, for joining us today. Do have a look back. Don't forget, there are lots and lots of other kits on the Yarn Line website like crochet kits, kit knitting kits. We've got all the hooks, needles, all the different things you need. But we've also got um, we've also got lots of patterns and kits too. So thank you for joining us today um, and come back and see us again on Wednesday.